Hi, for this small tutorial, I would like to talk a little bit about JCE. JCE is probably my favorite uh, content editor for Joomla. And what's so great about JCE? Well, for starters, one, it's free. This is uh, totally great because with the free version, with the free download of JCE, you can do a lot. Of course, if you take a subscription for the extended plugins, you get even more and in my opinion it's really worth its value but even if you can't pay or you don't want to pay for gce download it for free and you get lots of lots of lots of content lots of ease of use so what's so great about gce i'll just uh, say three things so i already said it's free two uh, you can create user profiles this means that you can have a different profile a different look and feel and complexity for a different user, an advanced user or a novice user, just have different requirements. Um, a third great feature about JCE is that you can export a profile. So like you made this really great profile just the way you like it with buttons and settings and everything perfectly for you, for you how you like it. Well, you can export this profile and if you have like one or two or 25 other sites, you can just import a profile and connect it to your account again. It's as easy as that. Um, so this this nice feature I'm going to show you also in this uh, small tutorial. I'm going to show how I can create different profiles to make it easier for different users to use uh, JCE. Um, I'm going to assume you already know how Joomla works, how you can install an extension, and uh, I'm not going to install JCE because I already did it here. Um, so on my demo site, it's just a stock Joomla site with demo content um, with JCE installed. So I went to the system settings, system con con global configuration, and here I changed the default editor to JCE. That's the only change I made, except for, of course, for installing JCE. So now if I go to content, articles, add new article, You'll see that you're getting this really big tool set um, of features. You can put different fonts and sizes and colors and options. You have pasting settings, search and print and full screen and anything you can, you can imagine, you, you have it here. Um, but for now, I'm not going to focus on how this works. I'm going to show you how you can, one, tweak this and two, how you can then use different profiles for different users. So I'm going to the component Joomla J JCE editor. In the control panel, I have four buttons. I can change my global settings. I can get change profile settings per type of user. I can install add-ons. So this is quite important. If you in download the add-ons from the JCE site, um, you, you won't have to install them through the uh, Joomla extension manager, but through this add-on manager, okay? And the file browser is just a nice file browser. Okay, first have a, let's have a peek in the global configuration. Here, um, I tend to put this on HTML5 duct type, but of course it's up to you. Uh, you can change some settings here. I'm not going to go too much in detail. I'm usually what I do is change these settings, so I'm gonna. Compress with JavaScript, CSS is default, enabled, enabled by default. Currently, I think there's hardly any browser or hardly any server that doesn't support gzip compression. So I put this on yes too. If you have issues with gzip, with compressed uh, files, disable it again. But I, have, I hadn't have had any issues with it in all the sites I have installed. And it really speeds up your site. The other settings, um, I don't touch them. I just save and close. And now I'm going to the editor profiles. Here, here is where all the magic happens. You, you, so you see, uh, by default, JCE comes installed with four uh, sample profiles, a default profile that's enabled by default, and three other profiles that are dis disabled by default. You can enable them, you can rearrange them. Um, but let's have a look uh, at how this works. Just a piece of advice, keep the default one and always keep him as the last 
enabled um, profile. This way, if you so at, at any moment uh, fall in a situation where a person doesn't have a specific profile set up for him or her, you will always fall back to this do default uh, profile. Obviously, you can tweak it, you can make, make it more restricted, restrictive or more advanced. Um, but make sure you, at the end of your line, you always have a default profile. Um, okay, so I'm going to copy this the default. Um, I'm going to move it up. I'm going to edit it. So let's, for starters, ha create a, pr a profile for me, for the power user. Um, and this is the my profile. It's enabled and it's okay for front and back end. So you, you, you can decide where will this uh, profile be triggered. And I'll, I'll enable it in all components. And it's only going to be used for the super administrators because I'm assuming these uh, are the people who have the enough knowledge. You, you can also actually assign it to just one specific user or a few users, but I tend to use a user group. Okay, so next step, features and layout. Fe you, you can uh, put the default editor uh, width and height. You can change the default theme. Um, I tend to prefer the default one or the mobile version, the mobile theme. The mobile theme is interesting if you have like a, a profile that, that's focused to tablets or smartphones because the buttons are a tad bigger and this is handy if you're, uh, if you have to, if you have fat fingers and you have to push the buttons of course. But on my default profile, I'll just use the def default buttons. I'll align them to the left, put my toolbar in the top, have a status bar at the bottom. Um, I'll leave all these uh, options as default. Um, the toggle editor I usually turn off because there's a great um, great code editor built in into JCE with code hi syntax highlighting and everything in, uh, much better than the toggle button. If you want, you can leave it on. It's as you wish, of course, but I put it off. And now here you have all these buttons. You have even have a few that are disabled by default. Now, let's see. Um, I'll start with this one, the kitchen sink. This button, what does it do? If you put it somewhere, example, I put it here, by default, only the lines before this one will be visible. So these lines will now be invisible and will only be activated if you click this button in your editor. So you have like a basic and advanced level. It's a real great tool. I'll show it to you in just a few minutes. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of some, some, some buttons I don't use. I don't use the uh, help. I don't use these Re undo, redo, yes. Bold, um, stri 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 um, strike through, I don't use really uh, that often. I try not to use underlined that much because it, it confuses with hyperlinks. Um, a block quote, yeah, you, I, no, not, not really. I don't use it all the time. Um, styles, I'll remove formatting, I'll code cleanup is more advanced feature for me. So I'll put it for here now, here for now. And this way I'm going to tweak uh, the settings, font, uh, font family, font size. I don't even want this in my, uh, in, 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 in my tool set. It's, you have to abide the style of, of, of the system, but uh, that's of course at your own leisure. Styles, I'll put in an advanced piece like this. So, so you, you, you can tweak your own uh, layout as you like it most. Um, I, I, I tend to use some indenting and unindenting. So I'll put this here. Um, and for me as a power user, I really like the source code editor and the full screen mode. So I'm going to put these here too. Um, I, 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 I don't use directionality. I don't need the preview button. Print, nope, not from here. Search and replace, yes, I use it, but, but not all that much. 
I tend to, to use tables in my advanced uh, settings, but not always. What's, th what's this one? Code cleanup. Not sure, I'll put it here, maybe two. And now I, I have an empty line here. I'll just get rid of it. I'm gonna move it here. And visual aid, yeah, sure. Uh, visual characters, yes, for me. Advanced visual blocks, non-breaking spaces, CSS editor, HTML extras. I'll leave them here for me, but for my, my users, this is really too advanced. Uh, anchors, links. Links is something I use really much, so I'm going to put this one here. Um, actually, I'm going to I'm going to put this in the advanced because I, I tend to use Control Z. Um, and here is so you ca you can tweak this to your own leisure. Remove links. I put images in here quite a lot. I don't use the spell check. Um, article breaks, these buttons are already in, in, in the lower bar, so I, I, I remove them here. Um, and this looks quite fine to me, special symbols, I'll leave them in. A subscript and superscript, yeah, sometimes I leave them in, sometimes I leave them out. Um, it depends on uh, wh what system it is. Exam for example, I have a, a site on chemistry and there I really need subscript and superscript. On most sites, I'll just get rid of them. Okay, like this, you, you, you can tweak your uh, settings. So I'm gonna continue. Uh, I'll, I'll allow, for this profile, I will allow the file browser, the context menu, inline pop-ups and media support. And now I can go and tweak every button, every setting in every item. So, um, I, I want relative URLs, so everything in which is inside, the, with, li with every link that goes to another page in on the site must be um, a, a, a relative link. I'll inherit these settings from uh, from 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 the, the global control panel, the global configuration, typography. I'll just inherit everything. You, you could add some custom colors f to, to, to your swatch. So if you have like um, a, a, home, a, a style, a style a, a profile with, with business colors, yeah, like your, your corporate branding, you can put these colors in here. It makes it easy to, to use them. Um, your file system, you, you can decide where you can um, find your images. And this is here, if, if you hover over the description, you can f f see some extra information. You can use uh, variables in the, in the URL. For example, if uh, I uh, have different profiles, so a profile is, is um, a JCE profile. Um, you, you can have um, a different profile per, per group of users. And then you, you can create a folder or, or it will automatically create a folder named profile. And then every profile will have its own folder. So then your, for example, your uh, bloggers will have, no, will have no access to your super user folder or the other way around. You can have like a, a folder per year if you have like a, a calendar, cal cal calendar type of, or of um, blog, whatever. So you can use all these variables inside your folder names and it will create them if they don't exist. This is really handy if you want to containerize uh, access to folders. And then you, you can say allow root access, yes or no. Um, and root access is the root of the... F and you can, you can exclude so some folders. You can put the maximum uplight, upload of file size. Um, and then here you can say how are we going to upload so you have a look for all, all these settings. Um, if you're not sure, just hover. So sometimes you'll get some information. So everything ha has some information if you hover over the, the information. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, validate MIME type. I'll make sure this is on yes. So th this prevents that people uh, use a fake extension to uh, add malicious, malicious code to your site. Allow spaces in file folder names. 
I put this to no um, and it, it will uh, add some underscores there and I will put everything in lowercase. I won't um, randomize the upload file name, I won't remove, remove the EXIF data, but you can if, if you want to uh, have like really random names or you want to uh, remove the, um, minimize the size of, of your images. Uh, you have some restrictions here, so you, you, you could say every user or group can have uh, at most this amount of files or megabytes of files. Advanced. Just r read, read them all. It's pretty, pretty, um, pretty interesting. So, uh, for example, you, you, you could configure it so super users are allowed to put PHP code inside their uh, editor. But you, of course, you, you, you wouldn't be enabling this for, for, for example, students in the school site. But if, if you say my super admin um, uses this to, to, to enhance some features, you can allow it. It's, it's a feature. And then the plugins. Um, so you, you, you can tweak every button or every setting in your menu. For example, if you say for formatting, I, I'm not using all these things here. I'm just using heading one. I'm not allowing heading one. I'm just using two, three, and four. I'm going to hide these. I'm going to not, we're not using code, not using the aside. Uh, up, up. And this is enough for now. So I'm re reducing the size or uh, the, the number of items that will appear there. In the file browser, I can put some set settings again. Cl cl clipboard, this one I, I, I will uh, point out because I really like this one. You can uh, so use the paste dialog. Yes or no? Um, and sh should I clean up uh, all the Microsoft Word junk? Um, to be honest, it cleans up a lot, but sometimes it still leaves a few. So I tend to put it on only if it if detected. Uh, should it strip class attributes? You, you, you can decide how much it removes. So I tend to remove all of these. You can remove additional tags. You can keep tags. Okay, so, and we just continue. How do you process footnotes? Um, do you allow pasting as HTML? So if you say no, it will turn everything into plain text. Um, you can just add these buttons or choose which ones you, you want to keep. Uh, the image manager, so every, I won't go through all these details. It's really interesting. Have a look at them. So if you're finished, save and close and now if i go to article add a new article i'm a power user you'll see i have this really small bu button bar i talked about the skin kitchen sink so if i click this open all the other buttons buttons appear and i really like these these two so this one is a full screen mode so it really simplifies my screen if i want to type stuff it uh, it's like a, a more a focus mode and uh, the button next to it is something I like because it's uh, it's the text editor. So I'm going to show you this one on an existing article. So if I just use open an article, if I use this button, you see I'll just see the the, the nice um, color uh, color color highlighted uh, HTML source code. You can use all kinds of, ins of tools in here, but for now, it's all I wanted to show you. So back to JCE editor now again. My profiles. So I created the power user profile. I can now export this profile. Uh, it's an XML file. It's really easy. Uh, everything is in the clear. So you can save it. Okay, I saved it. Uh, I can do and I can import it on another site. In the same way, I, I, I could create a, a, big, a, a default profile, uh, a beginner's profile, a student's profile, an uh, intern profile, and all these profiles can be combined. And the first profile that fits the need will be applied. So this means that you, you have to sometimes look how you will uh, prioritize your uh, profiles. Um, so this will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Um, if you have questions, don't hesitate to, to put them in, in, uh, 
in the Joomla forum or in, in the YouTube forum. I'll be glad to answer them if I know the answer. Um, enjoy JCE, enjoy Joomla, and see you around. Bye.